my I, I just got back from Okinawa, uh-huh. um, and I, it was it's kind of startling because I was expecting to go to like Japan, mm-hmm. you know, and when you get to Okinawa, uh, it's not like a t- it's not a super small island. It's like sixty miles across. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's like a two hour drive to get from one end to the other. Um, but it's like long and kind of narrow, so there's only one like highway to get through. So I get there and I'm expecting like you know there's a there's a military base here in Seoul in Itaewon, mm-hmm. uh, and maybe there's a couple more in other places in Korea, but it's not like there's a bunch. There's just like a few. You know what I mean? Uh, I get to I get to Okinawa, and I'm expecting there to be like oh yeah, there's obviously some big military bases here because you know that's where we. It's a it's a very <clears throat> strategic place for the Pacific Ocean if you're a military personnel. Like from Okinawa, you could strike anywhere in like you know Eastern Asia. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it, I knew that we had military bases there. And my friend is an officer in oh. the army. I met him in college because we were in the same fraternity. Mm-hmm. And um, like you know, he he when you're an officer or an officer in training, uh, you go to university and it's like the military sponsors your university training, and then. It's like you can have a bunch of diff- you could have a bunch of different majors and major in different things that you want to, but you're also kind of majoring in how to be a military leader. So he had to go and do all these like extra like military drills and uh, stuff like that. But he could still have fun and party with most of us. Like he felt like just a normal university guy. But then so he he became an officer in the army, and so I moved to Korea to do my thing, and then he moved to. Um, Okinawa because he he was like you could get stationed here 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 and he's like I want to go to Okinawa so he's there and he's like you got to come visit me Okinawa is like you know a tropical uh, like really cool island in uh, in south south Japan south way south of the Japan's mainland so I was like yeah I'll, I'll love to go check it out so I get there this small island has got like 39 military bases on it Jesus like 39 I get there I'm like this doesn't feel like Japan at all like we're just walking the streets Mm -hmm. and you'll see like japanese signs and stuff like that but i'll see like more uh i mean we weren't in the main city we were we were we weren't in naha like the main city Mm -hmm. but we were uh near one of the 39 bases but there's like so many guys like like americans walking around everywhere it just didn't feel like japan at all Mm -hmm. there's just so many military bases and because my friends in the army Mm -hmm. We end up hanging out with all only army guys. So I'm thinking I'm going on a j- trip to Japan. Psych, I'm going on a trip to hang out with just Americans, essentially in like like Hawaii 2.0. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it felt like I was just in Hawaii hanging out with military guys. Um, and there's obviously a bunch of military guys in Hawaii too because of the, the military strategic parts and stuff like that. Um, and but if you're talking to those guys. Like my friend, uh, my friend, he's an officer. Like I said, he worked in air defense, uh, so like, like working on shooting down missiles that potentially North Korea could shoot towards us. Like they work on like all the uh, military systems to shoot those missiles down and the radar systems. Um, and you talk to those guys, they're like, yeah, I think. And this is what he literally said. He's like, yeah, I think the whole North Korean thing. I think uh, I think we'll be taking care of North Korea and Korea will be reunited in probably like five months. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? I live in Seoul. I'm like less than a two hour drive from the DMZ. Nobody's even batting an eyelash. No one is like yeah. no one. You think like if that was fucking true, every fucking Korean citizen would be talking about this. No one has said anything yeah. <laughs> like I'm just like I'm like. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, nobody in Korea no one thinks in Korea. anything's going to happen. And you're telling Just me... Just like always. You're telling me <laughs> we're going to go to war and win the war in less than five months. <laughs> and it's going to be a reunited peninsula I'm like, of Korea. I'm just like, what? what? I was just blown away. And they all... like, And then, meanwhile, I'm telling my friend, I was like, you should come up and party with me in Seoul. Because I'm hanging out with the only military guys. And they all have a curfew, so we can't like go out and party <laughs> proper. So dumb. I'm like on yeah. vacation. I'm like, let's go party. And they're like, ah, we got a curfew. I'm just like, fuck. I was like, I was like, they treated like children, you know? Yeah. yeah. I was like, let's go to a bar. And he takes me to a bar, and it's like the shittiest little bar where there's like ten military guys, and then like 
two ugly military guy wives. <laughs> and I'm just like, and so I'm just sitting there, I'm just like, dude, you got to come up to Seoul with me and party with me in Seoul. Because, and then he had one friend of his uh-huh. that, w- that had been to Seoul. And his, this friend, me and, I, me and this guy hit it off, this guy named Andrews, because he was single and I was single and everybody else had girlfriends. And then he had been to Seoul before and he knew how great Seoul's nightlife is and how much of a fun city it is. And so he and I were both just like, Seoul is awesome. Like, blah, you could do this. You got all these different party districts. You're like, I'm in Okinawa, but all I want to all talk about talk is about Seoul. is how <laughs> fucking cool Seoul is. Yeah, like, <laughs> essentially, exactly. That's essentially it. And uh, and then some of these other guys are just like, oh, you want to go to Korea? Well, are you sure? Like, they're all convinced we're going to fucking go to war any day now with, with fucking <laughs> Korea. I'm just like, I don't know who you're talking to. I mean, maybe it's your job and it's good that you're, like, alert all the time if anything could happen. But they were all acting like, uh, like, my friend, he took a vacation off to come hang out with me. Even though he wasn't going anywhere, he took the time off mm-hmm. so he could, like, hang out with me and stuff and show me around. But <laughs> he was constantly getting, bur- he's an officer, right? So he's, yep. he's a leader. And he was constantly getting, like, calls and emails and everybody's freaking out because apparently... Some like shit went down, like uh, like maybe the radar systems weren't working properly uh, in in their region of the base or whatever. And he's just like like the people are like, dude, we we need you. It's all fucked up. Like we need you to come in here. And he was just like, look, if if we were at war already and I died, you'd have to figure it out without me. So just <laughs> yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do. You're just gonna have to figure it out without me. <laughs> but they were all like acting like, oh, there could be a missile coming right now. <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, guys, I'm on vacation. <laughs> Let's party. And they're like, there could be a missile. And I'm like, all right, so when's your curfew? Where's the nearest bar? Let's get going now because we got 30 minutes. You know what I mean? Like that kind of shit. Those dude, and, the uh, fucking American media, man. The American media, yeah. Sometimes they're just like, we need a story. The story is fucking, you know, Kim Jong Un. Mm-hmm. Am I saying that right? Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un, right? Kim Jong Un launched some missiles, and they're like, fucking, here we go, new war. And it's just like, and then like every single news, uh, broadcasting station is like jumps on it, you know. And, uh, yeah, they just blow it out of proportion. And it's like, meanwhile, in Seoul, nobody is fucking even talking about North Korea. Everyone's talking about the new election. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like, with the, with the new Park and Hayes out, and then we just got, what was I already forgot his name. What's his fucking name? Kim Jong-un? No, the new president of South uh, Korea. Ah, South Korea for the Moon Jae-in. Moon Jae-in, yeah. yeah.